Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. We're still doing our Valkyrie run, which means only female soldiers will be used and no male soldiers are allowed on the battlefield. Uh, well, actually not even in the base since we dismiss all of them. Um, last time we shot down a UFO, a small scout again, such as the same as the first one we shot down. And we're gonna take our uh, same old squad again, so Yang, Ruby, Wise and Blake. Um, so yeah, nothing more to say, let's go kick some alien ass. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next... So most important objective now will be to um, bring back as much materials as we can. As much undamaged materials as we can. Because uh, we need the funds badly. So I'm gonna try to not use rockets or grenades since that would damage anything handy. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. So Ruby's in front here, but I'm gonna keep her there. Um, looking for the UFO. Seems to be. I'm gonna guess around here somewhere. Judging by the fire. I'm gonna keep Ruby there. She it's a pretty flat terrain, so she should be able to uh, see anything from there. So let's slowly move everybody up. And because crash site missions tend to be the longest ones, I'm gonna edit these ones a bit more than I uh, shoot normal missions. So, uh, but you still get your fix. But you'll see a few more cuts than you would otherwise, because uh, you. You have a bit more periods where there's a few more turns that there's just nothing happening, so just that's this one. As we approach the UFO. Yeah, there we have two. Two sectoids again. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, since we are now in the new month, we also have a chance of uh, encountering floaters. Which is, uh, which could be a problem. They have four health on classic, I think, instead of the three that the sectoids have. Looking what line that would be. So if I put you here, are you... Oh, maybe here even. I'm on the move. Yeah, we have one flank shot already. 74. Take it! Yeah, thank you, Blake. Really nice. Got that promotion? Still nothing. Okay, so we do have a shot with a sniper. It's 73, not amazing. But it's something. I'm gonna have to be careful with that sector. Because I, I think he might be able to flank me from there. On the move. So let's bring in Weiss. No, okay. So we have a 68 shot with Yang. Which I'm gonna try first. Yeah, okay, nice. The ladies are on point today. So. No troubles. I'm gonna put Ruby in cover. So we can get a snipe. From a safer position. And I'm gonna put Weiss a bit closer. I'm gonna put her next to Yang. I'm really doubting whether we're gonna get that. I'm gonna try and get closer with Blake. Okay, there we go. Based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. How far is this? Okay. So I'm guessing that if I take this position, I shouldn't trigger anything else, I hope. Um, Seekers are pretty, well, I would say harmless, but that's not really true. Um, they can easily kill one of your squad mates. But they stay invi invisible until they capture someone, so I can't keep my soldiers in the open while it's only them on the map. So I'm gonna try and put everyone a bit closer together. Gotta 
Especially Yang, because she has the uh, reaction shots with no aim penalty. And that put everyone in Overwatch, since they're not really another antidote for Seekers. And hopefully one spawns already. Yeah, there we go. So that's one shot. Hopefully Ruby kills it. Okay. It's not that big of a problem, but Yang is going to lose two health. There we go. So, she will not be able to do anything this turn. Unless I get a route. So the other one didn't do anything. And that's only a 64. Uh, Seekers are also airborne units, so uh, the aim percentages on those guys are terrible. Except for Weiss, apparently, because she has an 88% shot. Which I am going to take. Holy shit. Take it. Seriously? God damn it. Mm-hmm. So now I have a bit of a decision to make. I either take the shot now. 63. It's not amazing, but... Yeah, thank you. Okay. So Blake has promoted, apparently. So I'm gonna still keep Ruby on Overwatch. And Yang as well. And hopefully the other Seeker goes for either Blake or White, so I still have two shots on it. Okay. That's actually... great. So let's get the mount. Okay, nobody... got triggered by that. So I'm even gonna just... Wait it out right now. And go on Overwatch. Put Ruby on Overwatch as well. Okay. Twice a bit closer to Blake. And Yang doesn't really have cover over here. So I'm gonna put her here. And then Overwatch. Everybody again. Yeah, there it is. So three Overwatch shots should be enough. Yeah, there it goes. Yang blasted it out of the sky, and there goes Ruby shot. A bit late to the party, but hey. So that's four enemies down. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna put Ruby a bit closer. And reload her, and then put everyone back towards the middle. So I'm gonna try and flush it out towards the left. So I can get a flank shot in from the other side with Weiss or Yang. So go Blake. There we go. That looks like the primary power source for the alien. And there's the meld as well. Only has it a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. So, can't really get a flank shot off from here, but White might. Uh, yeah, that's a flank shot. So let's see, if I go in here, Ruby must also get... Okay, that's a flank shot, yeah, okay, thank you. Ruby also has a shot. Which I'm gonna try first. Oh no, wait. Weiss has desperate need for a promotion. 60% critical, which we're gonna need if we want to kill it. So here goes nothing. Four critical, okay. So that complicates things a bit. A headshot is not really needed, but hey. Go Ruby! 50% shot. 50-50. Bam! 8 damage in the face. And we got the meld. Because it only had one turn left. I just saw there in the end of the camera. Okay. Operation Fallen got a complete success. And I don't think we damaged anything. Otherwise it would have been extremely unfair that we damaged anything. So yeah, Yang is wounded for 6 days. 
but both Weiss and Blake have gotten their promotion to uh, Corporal as well. So that's really nice. So let's see what the uh, the random drops have got for us. So we got Field Medic. Which is incredibly nice for uh, support. But I'm doubting. I'm really doubting. Because resilience is also very nice. Confirms immunity to critical hits. They're both really defensive skills. So we can use the medkits three times instead of once. Um, if we combine that with one of the medals we're going to get later on. That's a really nice healing capability on that support but being immune to critical hits is also very nice um, probably gonna regret it but I'm gonna go for the med kits uh, combined with her high health she already has she might be able to survive critical hits so yeah field medic and then Blake we have opportunist as well so opportunist and flush again okay not really random skill tree, is it? So yeah, we're gonna go for Opportunist again. Also with a 77 aim. Would be nice. Sad that uh, Yang is out of commission. But what did we get? Two Sectoid Corpses, 25 Valyrium, 38 allo Alloys, 6 Weapon Fragments, 20 Melt, 2 Intact Flight Computers and 1 Intact Power Source. And 2 Seeker Rex. So that's a really nice hole I should say let's see how much we can get for that I think I'm gonna keep one flight computer because uh, we're gonna need that later on I'm gonna sell more Illyrium because we won't be needing that for now as well so that's a nice boost to our finances which we desperately needed because now satellites. Commander, our current satellite yeah, I know. facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. So now we've got two uh, satellites well before the council report. Um, so the next thing I do want to have is the satellite uplink, but I don't know if I have. I have enough money, so that was hundred credits as well. The cybernetics labs are only 50. The workshop is more expansive. Ooh, it's it's tingling to get that cybernetics lab. I really want that. But the satellites are more important for now. Um, I'm gonna excavate here and I'm gonna build the workshops and cybernetics labs over here then. So yeah, excavate. Will I build that already? I think it's 12 days for a satellite uplink. Which should allow me to postpone that a bit. Until I really need it. And then I have a bit more cash available. For when I need more items. So, um... I'm really thinking about buying another interceptor. And the beam weapons. I'm gonna want to have Phoenix cannons. I appreciate your efforts to support the research soon. team, Commander. I've already put Still the new days. to work in the lab. I'm gonna keep the beam weapons up for now, and then we're gonna go straight for uh, experimental warfare after that. There we go. Scan. Satellite coverage now available over. Argentina. Okay, so that's all within reason. I was <laughs> I was just going to check what happened here because uh don't want to have anything missing. Cause it's tempting to go too far with the scanning, uh you might miss something. Excavation complete. Oh the abductions are coming really late. So we have our thermo generator which gives us a really comfortable 50 power. Um, I'm gonna build it already, the satellite uplink. I can get a few more credits by selling stuff if I really need to. 
with the satellite uplink I don't want to miss that if I forget about it or something I really don't want to miss that so 14 days that was the ETA there we go so we're sat on satellites that was no pun intended but hey there we go yeah there we go Commander, thank you we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress the locations are marked on the hologlobe so this might seem a bit crude but South Africa we really don't need to uh, take into account since we're already there uh, so we already have the bonus for that continent then United Kingdom is in trouble again and needs four engineers and now we have Delhi new uh, in India which I think I am going to choose so that's India and United Kingdom and South Africa India South Africa I can save that United Kingdom is going to be dangerous for Russia or France so I should actually go for United Kingdom again I'm doubting whether it's worth it I'm gonna have a terror attack too so I might be Nothing able to, to take the, the risk and Wars go towards clear. India and just let it go towards Europe the panic South Africa is not bad so uh, yeah I'm gonna go for the money I really need the money so money it is so next time a moderate mission an abduction mission in India uh, since we leveled up oh and Yang is also back hmm I do want to level the heavy and the sniper Wise, I want to level as well because of her extremely high aim. So I'm gonna clear out Blake and take a rookie on this one since it's a moderate mission. So uh, Janet, which, which uh, who still hasn't gotten a, a really fancy name, uh, I'm gonna make items available so we can give Wise the body armor then to not jeopardize one of our best units and I'm well Janet Wright which has 55 aim which is terrible so that's why I'm gonna give you a grenade so you can kill something so next time we're gonna go towards India to get ourselves some more cash but first, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget too that you can still add names for the soldiers, for these uh, lovely ladies in the comments and I will add them to the game and they will become the permanent, well, fighters in our squads. So thank you guys again for watching and for all the support. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.